at the moment in the market, uh, we have quite a lot of investors um, and we also have a lot of institutional uh, clients. And there are four main problems uh, in the financial sector. So talking about forex trading, people who need like physical delivery of cryptocurrencies, or uh, also uh, using margin trading. So B2, uh, B2B X uh, exchange aggregator is meant to solve this problem. So what are the problems? The first one is there's no market regulation. Most of the exchanges are unregulated. And because they're unregulated, the investors don't feel comfortable uh, trading with these exchanges. So uh, the, the other one, there is a lack of liquidity. If you're a Forex broker or if you're a trader, you realize that the markets are very thin. And for you to be able to trade uh, using margin, you need to aggregate liquidity from um, as many exchanges as possible. And the third problem is the integration is quite complex, um, especially for those who run hedge funds or run um, uh, brokerages or white labels. And also the compliant processes are quite long. So what are the solutions? The first one is um, we are building an aggregator. This B2B X is going to be back uh, with a, uh, a token. And our aim is to provide both physical delivery uh, for the cryptocurrencies and also to provide margin trading. And to be able to do this, uh, since Japan is the only country currently regulating cryptocurrency, we will obtain a Japanese license to enable us to provide physical delivery of the cryptocurrencies. And after that, we will also obtain ASIC FCA uh, regulation to provide margin trading. And the second option for the lack of the liquidity, because this is going to be the first aggregator of cryptocurrencies, uh, we will be able to aggregate uh, uh, the liquidity from the top 10 uh, cryptocurrency exchanges. And then using APIs, we will be able to feed this liquidity uh, to so many brokerages. Currently, there are more than 5,000 brokerages out there. And um, like I said before, the complexities of the integration process is eliminated using our API uh, connection. And uh, to solve the, the problem of compliance, we will have, uh, since the, the brokerages and the institutions will be dealing with one entity, which is B2Bx, it makes it a lot more easier for them to pass compliance than having to aggregate, um, uh, than having to be integrated with the various exchanges. So this is our mechanism uh, of work at the moment. Currently, the aggregator is on its first phase, and we're already integrated with the likes of IG Markets. We are integrated with Integral, and we're also integrated with uh, Prime XM. And we also have uh, on the Forex side, uh, sorry, uh, on the exchange side, we have uh, CEX, IO, we have Polynix, uh, uh, Bitfinex, uh, Bitrix, Kraken. These are the various exchanges that we've already, at this point in time, already aggregated their liquidity. So uh, in our pre-sales, you know, this is the mechanism. Um, we can talk about, if you want a bit more details, we can talk about this one outside. Uh, but let's talk about, like, at the moment we are raising funds. Uh, in our pre-sales, we raised one million dollars in four days, and we are in the second. We are in the ICO stage. Uh, the first phase of the ICO, we're looking to raise five million, but we raised that in seven days. We raised five point six million uh, euros, and currently we are already moving into the second phase, which is raising ten million euros. We have great discounts at the moment for people that are uh, looking to participate in these ICOs, and the beautiful thing is because we will also have our own token being traded by over 5,000 brokerages around, you can imagine how the value of your tokens will grow over the years. Thank you. The rest, you know, we have a booth outside, we can talk about it. Awesome. Take out, take out BTCE for your slides. Take out BTCE immediately.